Welcome Pisces to your spiritual reading for August. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, we're talking about faraway places over here getting ready for new horizons, the first light, beginning of a new cycle. And underneath it, we have Epsilon Modulation and Magnetism of Arrows. Very nice. Okay, so talking about this far away places over here, this is talking about getting ready for new horizons. Um, the, the card is literally talking about not playing it safe anymore. It's time to take a risk. It's time to take that leap of faith. Um, Spirit wants you to understand it's time for new horizons and change in your life. A journey is coming. It might be to foreign lands, a faraway place, or maybe just an inner shift in the changes in your destiny. It's all beneficial to you no matter how you know you see it it doesn't matter which one it is um sometimes we can feel wobbled when we are not in our normal surroundings however you safe and protected no matter what good fortune also is insured so with this new horizon get ready for this travel uh whether it's like it said an energy shift some kind of shift in perception um it could be a love relationship shift and i'm seeing that too because of the magnetism of arrows so it's making me wonder, too, if it's a relationship shift. Um, so with the Epsilon modulation over here, this is talking about taking it slow and easy and allowing it to come, to come at its own, its own pace. Also allowing you to come at your own pace as well. That way, as you're shifting, you can just take it day by day. You don't, it's nothing you have to, you know, yes, take a jump and take a risk, but do it slow. It doesn't have to be something that's super fast. Let's get it done with. No, just take the risk so that we can get this done because it's going to be the time to take the action, but at your own timing and pace. So modulation, of course, is, you know, hey, let it, let it go, let it flow, right? Because that's exactly what it's all about. Get ready. It's more of a jump than get ready. <laughs> So you're going to be slowly walking off this cliff, okay? It's, uh, yeah. Either that or you might jump and it might be slow getting to the ground, right? Um, with the first light over here, beginning the new cycle. This is definitely be beginning of a new cycle. Um, of course, it's going to be at perfect timing and perfect pace, of course, because Epsilon says so. <laughs> um, with the magnetism of the arrows, that's what I was really looking at. It's got my eye. This whole time, right? I see this new horizons, which ends up a new cycle of arrows. And I just really seen this arrows really playing out over here. And that's because we're talking about manifesting. Eros is also the uh, Greek god, which is Cupid, right? Or you can say Roman god, um, which is love no matter what. So it's almost like, <laughs> I don't know, I just keep saying like, like as you're jumping, you're going to catch the arrow right? The arrow of love. But it's because you're taking these steps towards things that move towards your heart, right? So that's why I just keep seeing you like, almost like running right into this arrow. I, I That's what I keep visualizing you guys. It's almost like you're walking off the cliff and as you're falling, this arrow from Cupid hits you and you're like, oh, right? I've been hit with, a, with an arrow, you know, that's been poisoned with love. Um, and that's really, really what it feels like. Um, and it's just like you're tumbling down, right? But as you're doing so, it's like you're reaching out for what your soul really wants and needs. And it just feels like it's love. I'm going with love, guys. I, I just keep seeing it. So spirit is not going to let that one get away from my mind over here. So allow yourself to be vulnerable for only then can you be truly held. Wow. Wow. That which appears out of reach or unavailable to you is closer than you realize. So it's almost like allow this arrow of love to hit you. You may be trying to, you know what, that's what it is. Whoever this message is for, you're, you're playing hard to get. That's exactly what it is. You're playing hard to get. Because I just, I see it. So spirit is just like, accept it. It's going to be good for you. You know it's good for you. It's just that you're so busy doing this or you're blocking it. You're, you're 
barred down. You're putting up a wall. But it's kind of crazy because, Pisces, the thing that's going on here is it's almost like you know you want it too. But, yeah, you're playing hard to get. That's what it is. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. So, allow it to happen. Of course, this won't resonate with everyone, so make sure that if it doesn't resonate with you, be sure to watch your uh, rising moon or Venus, right? Because your rising will probably be the one that's better for you. Uh, risings are usually the best. Um, I would say then moon. Uh, that's why I kind of put them that way. Venus, because mm, a lot of times your Venus is the same as your as your sun sign, so or your moon. So, uh, but I would definitely look at your. <clears throat> You're rising, because that's probably where it's going to be most, for those of you this doesn't resonate with. But I'm telling you, those who are playing hard to get, this is where it is. It's take the barrier walls down and just become vulnerable. Allow it to happen. It could be somebody from the past or someone you've known for a long time. I think it's someone, you know, I don't know if it's an ex, um, but it's definitely someone you've known for a long time. Um, it's almost like you try not to dream about them. You try to block them. It's all about blocking. It's definitely blocking. No, 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 no. I don't want to love right now. But it's like spirit is saying, no, you don't understand. They're good for you. Yeah. They've got the achievements. They've got the love. They've got what you need. Yeah. Stop, stop, bear, oh, there it is. Stop standing your ground so hard. Stop building walls. It's time to release. It's time to allow the love to come through. Because this person, whoever it is, it could be a Scorpio. Well, let's see what we got here. We have a Leo, a Virgo, Scorpio, and an Aquarius. So it could be any of the above. It doesn't have to be any of those people, but that's who's coming up. But let me just tell you something about, about, building walls. <laughs> it feels like you've been building walls for a long time and now spirit is saying, it's time. It's time. You know you want it. Um, there could be a little fear based in there. You don't want to get hurt. Um, so, you know, but it's just saying like down those barrier walls and let this love come through. Uh, definitely. Okay. And the inspiration card that we have. Whoa, look at that. Just flew out, guys. Daily inspirational card for you is to feel your innate sense of truth, develop open-mindedness. Wow. So, yeah, guys, let down those walls and, and you know, be a little more open-minded to love. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. And let's get a romance angel card. Ooh. Angel romance card for Pisces. Angel romance card for Pisces. We have a soulmate coming in. Wow. Honeymoon for some of you. That's why it's important. It feels like, yeah, some of you might have been healing family issues. Maybe it was because you went through a divorce. You were holding up those walls because you were having some kind of um, something. Your wedding. There's that wedding. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy, and that could be exactly why. They're saying, look, I brought you in a soulmate. This is the person that you're going to be married to. Wow. Um, but it does feel like a lot of you were holding up the um, barrier walls because of, like I said, a bad divorce, bad relationships, um, and just you just feel like you really need some healing um, to go through. Okay, and that, that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love.